dirty little secret that I've been keeping from you guys, man. Yeah, buddy. Guys, we have the next victim on the list. 71 Chevelle convertible. And I wish it was mine. I'm not going to lie. I wish it was mine. It is not, though. But look, all the way from Puerto Rico, this thing. And then it went to Atlanta. And then it came here. Big, big story with this car, man. It is freaking cool, though. And I'm hoping we can do what we do with these things because there's a little bit of rust concern and stuff like that. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll only find out as we turn into this thing. Guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, man. We got another one on the chopping block, you guys. Like I said, 71 Chevelle. And this video is kind of the introduction to the car and to the project, but it's also to show you guys how to take this thing completely off the body and chassis. So it's super involved, definitely involved. If you don't have a lift, for sure it's gonna be harder. And I've done it without a lift. You're gonna use cinder blocks and wood. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But in this case, we're gonna start off with obviously the obvious, uh, and that being disconnecting um, fuel lines or even cutting them, I should say, power, uh, ground, stuff like that. And then we also gotta disconnect one big one that I would, everyone always forgets about is the emergency brake cable. We gotta undo that, but in order to do that, we're gonna end up pulling this fender wells out, and we're gonna pull those out, the fender wells, just to get to that. Um, what else? We're gonna pull the front bumper. We're definitely gonna pull that because we're actually gonna leave the front clip on this thing when we remove the body off the chassis. Now, I don't advise this if your guys' car is like brand new, freshly painted, like not a, not a scratch on it, but since this one is not, no issues there'll still be a little bit of flex but nothing crazy make sure all your bolts are tight but we're going to leave the front clip on we've done it several times so we got to remove the front bumper though so that way it doesn't catch that um bumper filler grill stuff like that also the back we're going to remove not the back bumper but the actual valance we got to remove that um trying to think of all the big obvious ones obviously of course um we're gonna cut a lot of things i'm not gonna lie to you guys we're gonna end up cutting a lot of things on this project because guess what this thing's getting the works ls we're redoing the whole frame all the good stuff so we're gonna cut all the old fuel lines we're gonna remove all that do not use a grinder or a cutting wheel we're gonna use just a pipe cutter it'll be more time consuming but it's more <laughs> more about safety um what else we got to do remove like i said a few like wires and stuff like that but we're gonna get we're gonna start cutting we're just gonna cut really so we're gonna remove the body off the chassis obviously you have all your chassis slash body mounts and bolts we got to remove all that uh, i'm trying to think oh looks like we have also a uh, steering shaft right here for the actual shift linkage we got to remove that obviously steering shaft as well anything that's gonna really prevent us from removing this body but as we go along i will try to help you guys out and do whatever we got to do to let you know what we missed or didn't miss but let's get to work
Oh man, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you I wasn't nervous. This never gets easy, for the record. It's never like like a good feeling when you do this every time. So let's go ahead and do it. We got the lift down, we lowered it, we got all the bolts out, and then we got it now, for the most part, on the seams of the body. Let's just do this, make sure this door is closed, make sure all your doors are shut before we go up. 10 out of 10 times, you always miss something. So we'll see. We'll start lifting and we'll see what doesn't move. So far, so good. Chevy riding high, boys. Chevy riding high. So far, so good. I'm gonna walk around real quick and check that there's nothing pulling or anything see that distributor is really tight these wires right here looks like those are gonna get hung up right there let me get rid of those real quick I think that's pretty much it, it was a couple of those wires right there that go back to the dash probably sensors and things like that I know the steering shaft is still kind of connected too but it should pull out because the bolt is out of it so let's keep going <laughs> Check that steering shaft real quick. Oh yeah, it's hanging on. Let me grab a hammer. I have to bang that out of there. Oh yeah, we missed something for sure. What was that? Let's see. Oh, we got the e-brake cable right there. Let me grab that. We missed one thing guys <laughs> the radiator lines that's funny whoops totally missed that radiator line but guess what those lines are Oh, baby, it's out, fellas. It is out, man. Yeah, a um, lot of work to do. A lot of work to do still, as you guys can see. Man, this thing is going to need some love. So, obviously, we got to tear apart this frame, pull everything off the frame. I mean, everything. Um, <laughs> not a one bolt left on it. And then have this thing sandblasted, powder coated, and then reassembled with full suspension, brakes, motor trans etc but yeah small block you got to go but you guys i'm freaking hot man it's like 92 degrees out today and it's uh, i gotta get cool down i gotta remove this i gotta do a bunch of stuff but guys do me a favor you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button and hit the bell for notifications and you guys already know or you don't stay wrenching